بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم uh, this is Adnan in this tutorial I will show you guys how to make uh, this kind of bit bed sheet using uh, marvelous designer uh, you can simply download it from uh, just go to Google and type in marvelous designer it will take you to the to the their website and you can download the trial version I guess for 30 days I guess for free and if you like it you can buy it of course uh, the the third version is, uh, is out but I'm currently using uh, the second uh, uh, I guess it's better for me it, and it's easier uh, I haven't tried the third version yet but it will be the same so as I said we'll be making something like this so first of all we will make the the base for the bed and the matrix simply using a cube we will just scale it This is the base, and now to the matrix. Check the fillet and change the radius. This this will be good. Now you select everything, make everything editable. Uh, make sure you selected both the base and the matrix, and go connect objects and delete. Now you have one object which is the base and the matrix you just export it as a wave front I've just uh, I've already saved it now you go to the, to Marvel's designer go to file import object and import the file that you just saved choose centimeters and change this value to 300 now let's start making some cloth we will start with this tool create rectangle we will draw a rectangle here if it didn't show up just click this this icon make sure you change the, the gizmo to world coordinate gizmo it's a lot easier now you just move the this uh, pattern as you can see it's too big you just scale it down Now control C, then control V and click. 
we have another pattern we we'll just move it until it's uh, exactly uh, above the other the first one and now we'll take this tool segment sewing and you just click on the edge of the pattern here and on the edge of the other pattern make sure those lines are uh, aligned like that not like this as you can see this looks wrong the other one is uh, correct and do the same for all four edges Now when you hit simulate It's kinda slow here for me My computer doesn't can't really take uh, this much geometry All you do you yeah for now while well we're still working uh, you increase the particle distance 80 for now will be or maybe 70 will be ok this will reduce the quality uh, of, the, of the cloth we will increase it later when we want to do our final uh, final simulation uh, we will change the position of the light because it's kind of dark here. We don't see, we don't really see the the cloth well. You go to environment, light, show light, zoom out, find the this arrow here, and just rotate. That's that's great. Now you select this uh, upper pattern, go to fabric, and in the pressure set it to 5, maybe 6, and then simulate. Yeah, minus six. It might change for you. You just uh, you just try minus six, and if it works, if it goes like this, it's the correct value. If it doesn't, make it six because it's sometimes uh, sometimes you have to set it to minus six. Sometimes six. I don't know. I just try until I get the the correct value. I guess minus six is too much. Try minus four. Yeah, it's a lot better. Now we will try to make these. Uh, I don't know what they're called. This shape. Uh, take this. Uh, this tool. Come on. This one. You click uh, on the pattern, the upper one. Make sure it's not the lower one. You click once, you drag, then you double click. There. Now we will copy uh, this line. Go mm, Control C, the Control V, and line it. You click, then Control C, Control V. As you see, it's, uh, it puts it in the position that we want. Now, just click in the mouse, Control C, Control V again, and you go like this till the bottom. Okay, 
Uh, now you take the same tool again, this time vertically from here to here, double click. Now go Control C, Control V again. We're trying to make a, these squares here on the cloth. Control C, Control V. As you can see here, the lines go down. You just click the line and put it in position. Okay, now you select all those lines from here. Shift and click the last one. Go to basic. Change the fold angle to 360 and the fold strength to 150. You click simulate again. And they're inverted, so you just change 360 to 0. And there you go. For some uh, kind of realistic effects, you click and simulate, you click here and drag slowly. It kind of looks weird because of the the high uh, number here of particle distance. It really depends on, on your computer. You should set it to the lowest uh, number you can. For me, uh, for a, a final look, I may set it, set it to I, gu I guess 20. But that again, that will take some time to simulate, you just, you have to be patient. As you can see here, it got more detail. But once you simulate, it gets better. You click simulate and just let it for a second. And uh, as you can see, looks nice. And may uh, be aware that when you set it to a very low particle distance and your computer can't handle it, the the software might crash. Crash, God. Uh, so you should you should save it uh, from time to time. You should save the the project. Go to save as and project. So to take you back to Cinema 4D, you just go File, Export, Object, uh, and you change its name. You go Save, Centimeters, and uncheck the Object Avatar Shape. We just need the cloth and go OK, it will export, go to Cinema 4D, file, uh, you can uh, either merge or go from here, file, merge object, tutorial, uh, and choose the, the file that ends with obj, not mtl, go OK, uh, at first it might look too small or too big. That's because of the the units. I just go to coordinates and try to uh, try to look for the the correct. Uh, uh, 
the correct number. This looks weird. Uh, we forgot to. I only changed the particle distance for this pattern. We forgot to change it to this one too. See, it's still in 70. So you just select everything and uh, 40 for now. Uh -huh. Now you simulate again. Then you do the same, you export, and this should look uh, okay. There you go. Uh, thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.